They say knowledge is key. I'm Sammy Gibbons, news reporter with the Door County Advocate, here to unlock this week's news. Door County Economic Development wants more people to live in Door County. They launched their website livedoorcounty.org this week, which shows career opportunities all along the peninsula. The corporation said there are more than 800 jobs open that cannot be filled by the rapidly aging population. So the website Live Door County has listings of schools, activities, highlights that living in Door County is living in a vacation spot year round. It hopes to draw in young people from across the nation, but also work to keep local high school students in the area. Many leave after high school to find success in other places, but the website and the economic development stress that you don't need to leave to be successful. Dollar General may be coming to Sister Bay. Developers proposed a plan to build a store on the corner of State 42 and Fieldcrest Road. It's nearby where Shopco used to be. The building is still vacant. The plan has already faced loads of pushback, starting with a petition online that's garnered more than 2,200 signatures. Dollar General developers will come back in January to exhibit a revised plan to the Village Plan Commission. So there's many steps ahead before any decisions are made. After more than 20 years performing together, Parks Phillips & Co's holiday concert will be their last. The Christian Country Band, based out of Brussels, will close out their tenure with a Christmas concert at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Sturgeon Bay, always a favorite of the bands. It wasn't drama that's bringing the band to an end, just the timing was right, according to Parks. Although their last concert may be bittersweet for fans, they hope that it just puts people in the holiday spirit. You can catch them for the last time December 22nd at 6 p.m. Don't let the door hit you or the